Alright, welcome back everyone to One Shot. So, last time we left off, uh, we got this machine going. Uh, I do apologize if my audio might sound a little, little funny. Uh, I'm using an older pair of headphones that I had. Because I, I needed to send my other parent because they were having issues. So hopefully, I could they'll send me a, a new pair or two. Right. Okay. I don't think anyone else is noticing it either. Pretty sure that means that I need to go into the files. Um, oh, properties, maybe. I don't. Ooh. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'll be back once I start looking through a few things. Okay. All right, guys. So after uh, about three, four minutes of looking around, this was the. Uh, documents folder that it need I needed to find. It says dear blah, 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 words. Can't read that. Message you to message to you and I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that I assume I can't read it. Read it and you will know what to do. I have also blah 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 blah, blah left you a mask. A mask. Be, be you. You. Want waddled? W. A. E. D. Wade. Aid. Look for a metal safe in the quarry to the east, somewhere between the ocean and the out point. The code you need is four three four three five two. All right. Okay. So our code is four three four three five two, and we need to go to the quarry. It's to the east. Ocean and the lookout point. Okay. I just want to come back here and make sure. 
sure. Oh, okay, so there's nothing here. Alright. The code is contained within a document. The document has found a place that belongs outside the game. Do you... Yeah, I know where to find the document. Let's start looking. I did find it, though. I found it, please. Let me... Okay, so I, okay. compass actually on my stick out on my computer so yeah this way is east for the quarry this isn't the quarry is it? I'm pretty sure that's not the um I think we've already been there that I'm wearing right now is hurting my ears. <laughs> That's exactly why I got new better ones. Oh. I'll turn on. Well, that sucks. Anyways, I'm oh, sorry you guys are still... Oh, I wonder if this little dude appears. Oh, hey, okay, look. I am functional. Was it you who f 
fix the generator? Well, Golden helped me. But yeah. Hello. Nice to meet you. I am Robot310. Ro. Robot. Aw, we'll call you Ro. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. That is true. Hold on. Golden and I will find a way to help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now. Um, let's go ahead. I'm tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Of course. Oh! What's this? Is Nico dreaming? Oh! Golden, are you still there? Yes. Uh, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw. You did? Wow. I really thought I was back home. No, oh, the sun back in my home was a light bulb. That's a big ball of fire in the sky. Fire or gas? Ours is bigger. I don't think I'd be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world, Nico. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Hmm? Uh, I guess not. If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? That's a fool. Should we tell Nico? Should we tell him that we're from Earth or it's a secret? Mm, I like being mysterious, but I feel like we should tell me that. From Earth. Earth? Like, the stuff on the ground? Wait, do you live underground? Wait, I don't know. Ah, uh, neither do we. But there's shrooms and- Shrooms? <laughs> there's shrooms and field mice and stuff, too. Does your world have a sun? Yes, it's also a big ball of fire. Really? goes away sometimes, I mean. Everything gets dark, and kind of like how this world is. But it's okay, because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? Everyone's like that, too. Do you sleep during the night? You get to sleep easily. But some people stay up and use computers. I don't have to explain what they are. Right? There's a bunch of them. Anyway, we should probably get going. Aww. Well, it was nice getting to know about the I feel like I should have been more secretive about our world. At the same time, I should be fine with this password. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Nico. Um, but at the same time, I want to think of and who likes a super secretive guy? I don't know. I don't know. Who was this? This sure looks different. The water looks like jelly. It's formed a bubble over the steps of the pond. Oh, shit, oh, shit. That vent is on the ground. All the others are 
you're taller than me. This isn't gonna- Okay, I was about to say, it's not gonna hurt me. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted to the way they did. Despite this failure, the first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the barons. They found that there's not one, but two such vents. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists, our, blah, 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 blah. our biologists concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater ponds were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting up into the sun. That's the case. We have a lot to do with these little guys. I love, I, it, either you don't have enough shrimp, or we got too much gas in the moment. Well, then I guess you still want to have enough shrimp, huh? We don't want to miss anything. There was nothing to miss anyways. We're supposed to pack stuff up for the evacuation starting today. I wish these looks these books weren't so heavy. It's gonna be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. Well, of course they're by the author. Hey sweetie, six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule walled one thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love mom. People living in the house? What? Oh my goodness. Are they up here on this side? Not from what I can see, but there is a ladder here, so we'll climb that. I guess. I'm scared of ladders. Ego! There's like a little cat thing. Robot and 
I eat batteries instead of normal food. <laughs> that is not correct. What? Oh, hello there. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Whoops. Hello. Hi. What are you doing up here? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. You got anything else to say? I guess not. So, is this world just entirely inhabited by robots? Is my question. Oh, sorry, some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely likely do some sort of electrical or magnetic interfer interference. <laughs> I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained if the servers continue to fail so much that the ma maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots, at least not at a significant rate. I will tell. It's weird because no, there we haven't seen any organic life anywhere. All of these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to do now. Well... Okay. Ah, terminals do not respond. This is a problem. I need to stop yawning. Looks like they're evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are all gone. I wonder if the engineer is going to. Apparently, phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ship started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares? I'm not sure what they said about that. Bummer, right, looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate, and we worked so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough with the transporting people as it is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. Square things. We saw some of that. It's a power cell. Thing. There's a writing on this computer. It says, Go to you, the residential area. Lots of tiny shrimp in the jar. Looks a little dim. until the boundaries of space! But at some point, the prehistoric ocean succeeded forming what is now known. What is now the barrens. I want a world of water. Wow. Okay, but what is tame? Like, like, what do you mean 
tame. Like, how do you tame a bot? All of you guys are quote unquote untamed. So can't we go, I don't know, tame you? And then you wouldn't have your kind of player do nothing. Ooh, paper. There's something weird about the robots who get sent to the work near the we get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much lower rate than the others. The few who work directly with gas harvesting look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere, or am I just seeing things? Okay. It's a gas vent. Yes, I see. I saw somebody move back there. That's just robot. It's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Excuse me. Hello, person. Robot assembly and repair services have been discontinued at the Barrens. If you have any further inquiry, please contact the head engineer. I don't think so anymore. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. <sighs> Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here's a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Agents, acidic gas, blue phosphor, rare form. Instructions. 1. In a well-vented area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's game advantage. No. That was great. <laughs> Instructions. They're about assembly and repair services. So we'd probably get through there with the phone bar. Good thing I kept the scrubber. Yeah! What a workout. Oh, I know. It's my robots. I'd say this is creepy, but so far other robots are nice. Except for the fact they all complain about they're not taking And they're kind of little sketchy and they're not fun with something. This seems to be a page ripped out of the book. Number two, without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Three, shake vigorously to indicate the reaction. Initiate the reaction. Number four, use a spoon. Oh, use as soon as possible. <laughs> Let's say use a spoon. Note that the elements begin to separate further shaking is required. Also note, hand production is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household containers. I don't know what happened. It's a good thing you're here, Golden. Yeah, I know, right? A cleaning fudge with a rough surface. Yes. A bunch of rubble for the power. I guess the generator can only do so much. This rubble looks kind of rusty. What's this? Nothing. It's a big metal box with complicated machinery inside. I kind of want to see what's back here, but I need him to... I need to get out of there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, there's, no, there's water on the back there, okay. Alright, I guess I... Okay, Places to go. Gotta find Nico's way home. Get out here. I think we've explored everything that we can in this area, so. You know, it's like kind of like music that we have to Alright. So, what? Where do we gotta go now? I think we already went to the Quarry, so I believe that was a quarry. Huh. Oh, hello, small person. You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to the lookout point. Below us is the old quarry. Oh no, we're here now. Okay. The 
head into here looks a little more to the east. The entrance to the old machine is further to the east. Let's see. That looks like a fight. Right up there. Trouble 
that would pull me to talk to you. Alright. What is it? It said something about its navigation circuits being red. Just the navigation circuits? Really? Gold and I fixed everything else, I think. We just allowed it to move. We didn't fix anything. Something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source of it. Let the robot borrow this, then it's back up. Tracking system should activate. Oh, I love that. That is so cute. That is so cute. some older kids before, then when you play a game. I mean, I don't know the game very well, but I guess it's the least I could do. I don't know how to play chess. I know how to play checkers. You're really good at this. Thank you. It was built, it was built into my code. So, what's it like being a robot? I've talked to other robots, and they all say something about programming. I when you did just even when even you did just now <laughs> why was that so hard to read it's a little hard to understand sometimes I know most of the robots here are not tamed and watch out <laughs> what is that face Nico there goes my bishop taming is complete Complicated. I thought I was about to say, what? We tame you by letting you steal it. Oh. How complicated exactly? There goes my other vision. I can't really explain what team robots are, but I'm one of them. All the other team robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where? I don't know. There are two more. The past, yes. I still have the data and the coordinates. I don't know much. I, I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because this one is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? This one probably won't say me. The game started back before the sun went out. Sudden death was just a tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. And there's nothing I can do. What? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your code. In a way, you're only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the Barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But Alright, I guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a good night. Oh, thank you also. It's not dusty anymore. You wanna play another game, Jess? Off you go. There's no reason for you to linger in the barracks. Have you talked to the Hatch area? She lives near the Queen of Trip. I would 
have given you the quarter. But Still use the crowbar. That is acceptable. Onward we go. I'm just gonna leave that behind for whatever fortune soul that happens upon here, yes. Oh, so cute! Yes. She, he, Nico, Nico is so cute. This place is far more lively. Here's your stop, the Glen. Thank you. There should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. Oh, that's good to know. Very well. Hey, this should be a success. Are you leaving? Yes. I must return to the station, but you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. What do you mean by tamed? What do you mean? Like, the horizon is going blue. I guess go in here first. Oh. This is a pool. I'm assuming. Or is that like a tank? This is a very empty house. I don't think we're supposed to come up here yet. I'm like, what world has fish, has hand fish? Fish have hands. There was a time where our people used to live in the woods. But due to flooding, most of us had moved to less permanent settlements. But I, man has gone. The glen used to be in one piece, you know, but now it's just a bunch of islands like a small water. Yeah. Okay. Empty jar. The jar is full. be a matter of time again. Here. Ooh, yeah, here. Keys! 
Oh! Bills! Go for the booster. Get him to dry. Fireflies lit up this room, so y'all have fireflies. The other place has like little shrimps. Okay. Ah, is that the sun? Yeah. And you're holding it? Isn't it, huh? Not really. It's nice and warm. I imagine it gets hot after a while, though. Cold. Green moss covering our village has already lost its way. If it wasn't for the thin strip left on the four boundaries of the land, people could easily fall into the ocean. Without light, land, and water become indistinguishable here. That's it. Well, ah, was it the sun? Oh. <laughs> I just talked to you. The land is fragmenting into a I don't think I don't like to think about the day when this town finally loses its influence. Well, right, we'll have to find another place to settle. Thing. Oh jeez. This is it, the last of our green surfaces. And now we're dealing with a permanent. Maybe some cats? Not that I'm a cat, I mean. Oats. Heads of a jar of some sort of grain. It looks like flour. This looks like flour. Heads of wheat. Heads of wheat. <laughs> Hello there. The corner. It's only being chipped away already, but it's still trying to stay alive. It doesn't matter one day, the world finally gives up the fight. I'm so glad I'm back this year. I'm bringing back the sun, though. That won't fix it. Just like the other lady said. But don't lose heart. Without the sun, the world will die much faster. At the very least, I'm sure everyone would like to see the sun again. So even if we bring the sun back, the world is still going to die. I can get in this door. Again. Since the world's very sick, but Golden can make it better again. Are you Golden? Uh, not really. I'm just the Messiah. I can talk with Golden though. Ah. What's that like? Really cool. It's just cool. Just cool that you got in your head. Go. Oh. Ah. ah. Have been growing poorly without the sun, and there's no telling how long this is to last. Please save her. Savior! You have to hurry. I, I'll do my best. Why don't you try growing something that you don't necessarily need light for? Oh, hmm, I need someone to help me herd my lambs. Oh, I can do that. I've seen some grown ups do it back home. Kind of just push them around. But you are carrying the sun. Wait, can't you just watch the sun? I cannot. I am but a simple shepherd. You look like you're in a talking show, shepherd. And come back when your hands are free. You'll be rewarded if. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry if I started. I don't think it's right to trade this away. Oh, hey, you have one of those coin things. Jack up a couple of these before. Well, yeah, there's this guy who betrayed me the best. Like, one time, he brought me this little machine that was good. I like your eye, but I don't know what it's called, but you have to wind it up. Music box? That's it. I wish that guy would come back soon. I haven't seen him before. I want to do more trades with him. I just traded some golden. <laughs> Wait, is this? Don't you want to find out what it says for golden? Is that a book? Uh, not sure if I want to take books. I can't read. 
Bar, we could probably get past the vine. Nico, we don't have a crowbar, do we? No, if somebody had to leave that behind, we could have just left this stupid turtle. The flood can't take away our farmlands, but it can't. Oh, it can take away our farmlands, but can't take away our fish. But that's kind of backwards. I have some trade with this dude up here. Ding -a -ding -a -ding -a. Wait a minute. Sun? Looks like an altar. Yeah, put the sun there. Some kind of cloak or shawl folded neatly. Air shoes. Yeah. Reminds me of the one that Robots from Barons was holding. Or material looks like amber. Okay, come on, I have just going to grab that in here. Oh, damn it! I, just, I forgot I didn't ring the bell. That's a lot of shiny things. Flash shards, flash bottles, flash bottles, flash bottles, flash bottles, flash bottles, flash bottles, bits of string, colored wool, plain wool, scrap, scrap, rusty buckets, scrap metal shells, and rocks. What's all this for? I just think they're neat. Well, you're right, they are pretty neat, I guess. I'm pretty sure we're not meant to put the, uh, what is wrong with this shit? Oh my Jesus! Bro! Thing is possessed. Hello? I need someone to help me hear your arms. Oh, I can do that. Carrying the sun. How do you know it's the sun? Maybe it's just a freaking light bulb. Back when your hands are free, you will be rewarded if you can work my ramps. But I don't think there is a way for me to hurt the ramps. I don't think I'll ever be able to hurt the ramps, unfortunately. Because, like, after we return the sun, we're supposed to go home, I think. I don't think we can stick around. Where that frickin' ram was possessed, okay? It was 100% possessed, and these are some funky looking trees. Hey, you there. Have you seen a little girl? She's a little bit shorter than you, and. Wait, that's the sun. Are you our savior? I am. Oh, my stars. Sorry for my rudeness. Huh? That's all right. Are you looking for someone? My hey, little sister, she's been gone for three days. Ago. I've been looking all over. But what does she look like? A little shorter than you. Long blue hair. Two blue feathers on top of her head. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. There, where was the last place I saw her? Back inside the rooms. She said she was headed towards the forest, so I'm waiting here now. I ran out of places to look. I got an itching nose. It won't stop itching. This will look around for a trial now. Not a chance. So, this is the best fishing spot I've found yet. All the fish I catch are longer than my arm. Well, don't let them hold you in, child.
Hmm. Well, hail the robot. It was kind of starting to see guys. Water sample collection in progress. What's the sample thing? Oh, hey there, big guy. The sun. You're the best I am. <sighs> Are you on your way to the tower? You can enter the refuge through this wall. You'll need to sign your name in this scroll first. Dwelling is not recommended, however. So don't live here, got it. Okay, so these aren't swimming pools, they're just flooding. <clears throat> Cluster of vines are blocking the land. If <coughs> 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 only we had a crowbar. Computer. Uh oh. Well, what did you do to my desktop? Hello again, Golden. It seems I need to help you again. Mika will not be able to progress otherwise. Progress. This time, the information you need has fallen to the most easily accessible place on your PC. My desktop? Do you see it? Oh, yeah. I see it. It's all my bits. Okay, guys, hold on. Um, I'm gonna take a, a, a screenshot, I guess, see if that works. And I'll put it here on the screen at some point of what's on my desktop. Yes, I see it. We'll know what to do with it then. Interesting. Alright, Nico. Let's figure out what to do with this information we're doing. Oh, hello there. These vines appear appeared mere minutes ago. <clears throat> really? I've been seeing a lot of them in doorways and stuff. I just assumed it was because this place was made. A sign of distress. Huh? A living being is in need of help, but I cannot trace the source. Ah. Okay, so the, the vines are a sign of distress. So that must be the little sister. She must be in distress. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. Two! Two!
to save me. I just want to experience it for one more time before I... No? No. Would it... Would it be too selfish of me No. Take care of it. Should I do one? Give me this. store for you, I promise. <laughs> Excellent! To the south is a peninsula inhabited by my group. They're all standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them onto the darker wall. If you get stuck, we'll bring a bell and the wall returns to their positions. Good luck. Darker moths. Service for all of Ram kind. In return, take this fine Ram. Oh, uh, thanks. Sweet. It is. Right to the city for a gift. Been there, done there. Too cramped. It's not like this place is getting any bigger with the rest. Maybe the city isn't too bad after all. <laughs> Noise still freaks me out. I don't like that. I, I, I think it's just because that's my sand. Hi there. You here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to do with me? Give me an offer and I'll give you something after. Do you have something like that for me? Yeah, I think I have something I want to trade. It'll take wool, right? What can this wool get me? That'll get you. Fine, pile of. This is some sort of fabric. How about it, Golden? Wait, Golden, you want to haggle? Really? Golden said they want a better offer. Holy oh, Forgot I was doing a trade with God for a second there. Okay, okay. In that case. I'll also throw in this commemorative t-shirt. No! Oh well, I'm back again. <laughs> they I've 
gonna take that and I just want to try sheet or one of the rounds, but who in store? Oh, it gets really good. Really. <clears throat> I think. For sure, yeah. Okay, so okay, 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 okay. okay. Saved me. Thank you. I was trapped in there for so long. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at her. <clears throat> so, are you Alua? You knew my name. Well, the Messiah really does. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. I thought that was your brother. Oh, right. Gosh, Kalimus must be so worried. Of course. Stop making my screen smaller. Please. So annoying. You were stuck in this tiny little one. So oh, are you coming? How did you know that I was the, the Messiah? I don't have the sun on me. Your eyes. That's why they're Messiah, right? Well, I... A lot of people back in my home have a Bible. Home? Yeah. I'm actually from another world, you see? It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in the tower. Do you like this world too? Right? Yeah. Yay. Columbus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous than but that's okay. We're good. We can make everything better. Yeah. Are we hugging? I like hugs. Oh, no. Okay. <clears throat> so, that is it for today, I think. Uh, so, that's it for episode two of One Shot. I wanted to end with Let the Lady Have the Sun. And then I ended up getting carried away because I wanted to, I realized that I could go into the ways that I couldn't before. So, anyways, that's going to be it for today. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their Pride Month to celebrate and support Pride. I'll put uh, some of the charities that I donate to regularly. Uh, LGBTQ plus charities. Uh, that are non-profit will be down in the description below so feel free to go share those donate help spread awareness and support lgbt and have a nice rest of your day evening night stay golden